Hi, I'm Suzanne Knoyer, Judson ISD Board President. Welcome to our first episode of Boardroom Wrap-Up. I am here to share with you some of the key decisions that were made during our regular board meeting held on June 25th. First, I'd like to highlight an important change in our instructional calendar for next year. Spring break for next year was moved from the week of March 17th to the week of March 10th. This is mainly due to a change in the college calendar that our JECA students follow. We want to make sure that all of our students, staff, and families are off for spring break at the same time. Right before the regular meeting, trustees heard a presentation regarding the proposed budget for 2024-2025. After some discussion, the board adopted next year's proposed budget. In collaboration with my fellow trustees, our administration is diligently looking for ways to address the deficit this year. For example, the board passed a resolution allowing us to access three and a half disaster pennies for our maintenance and operations budget for one year. This will be an estimated $12 million of additional revenue, which will decrease our deficit budget to approximately $24 million. We are also looking into the possibility of selling or leasing some land that we own, and we will be making hard decisions to reduce staff costs through attrition. We certainly hope that during this legislative session, the state increases the amount of money that is given to fund public schools. But until then, we must do what we can to take care of our staff so that we can take better care of our students. That being said, the board voted to make several changes to the compensation plan and programs, such as apply a 1% raise at midpoint for teachers, counselors, librarians, and nurses instead of the previously passed $500 incentive. In addition, all other staff would receive the one-time $500 incentive to be paid out in December. Approving TASB reclassification recommendations for four positions, we also voted to bring back communities and schools at five campuses, which are Candlewood, Woodlake, Converse, Park Village, and Wagner. This evening, the board approved several recommendations for existing leadership positions, and we want to congratulate our newest district leaders. The new principal for Hartman Elementary is Rosalba Martinez. Making it official at Woodlake Hills Middle School is Principal John Griffin. The principal for our newest middle school, Cibolo Creek, is Greg Brower, and our new director of purchasing is Lynn Trevino. Th finally, we want to express our sincerest thanks to board member Jennifer Rodriguez for her selfless service to the children, staff, and constituents of Judson ISD. We sadly accepted her resignation tonight she will be moving out of state to start a new adventure. Her heart for service and love for students has been a guiding light for us all, and we wish her all the best. This concludes our first episode of Boardroom Wrap-Up. You can also read the board briefs, which are available on our website. Thank you for listening, and especially for your continued support. Judson ISD, one home, one family.